So today we're going to put on this Ryzen 9 3900X. This is the second one I got. And the coolers are awesome. They light up. LEDs is pretty cool. So we're going to put that on. I got my favorite uh, motherboard MSI X470 Gaming Plus Max. We're going to go with that. And what else? I got my SATA. This is a 120 gigabyte SATA drive. I've already installed Windows using Win to USB, created a Windows ISO, and basically flashed this guy so it'll boot up in Windows. And I get to install Windows. Uh, plastic bag. I don't know what was in that. I have here 3200 megahertz DDR4, two each, two eight gigabyte sticks. Uh, I'm only gonna use one in the board. There's no need to put two. I don't need that much, even for CPU mining. And I do GPU and CPU mining on the same boards right now, but I've ordered three and I got three brand new motherboards, but I'm, I'm completely out of GPUs and I'm s stupidly selling a 3060 Ti on eBay in an auction, uh, which is going all right. I'm gonna at least make a couple bucks out of it, but I got another day left to see if it goes up to 900 bucks. That'd be funny. But I wish I had that to mine, I don't know. But I could use the cash to buy more stuff and pay for these CPUs. So there's that, there's that. La, la, la. I got the little speakers. Because these these will help. If you, uh, That Asus motherboard I had, nothing on it. No LEDs or anything. And that would have helped troubleshoot my booting problem with that thing. And it was the monitor I had. It was ridiculous. The monitor works fine every, every other time except when it's HDMI right into the uh, motherboard, HDMI or anything on that motherboard, any motherboard. So I don't know what's going on with that. So I got the speaker so I can hear the post beep and all that stuff. And I got LEDs too. I don't like the LEDs because, eh, who cares? I'm not going to look at it. But I got the switch because I got tired of, I've got tired of uh, using the screwdriver to boot the thing up. Easy stuff, right? There's that, there's that. Let's get this out of the way. That's one thing I miss about my other house. I had a workshop, a uh, garage, a basement. I had a, I had a nice setup. Now I don't. <laughs> we moved to a more expensive area near the ocean and uh, you don't get that type of house where we're at. You don't get the McMansion, not a McMansion, but you don't get a 2,500, 3,000 square foot house anymore. Uh, down where I'm at. Okay, let's go. I'm not going to open this now. Let's go ahead. I like that this is a 3000 desktop ready. 3900X. My big thing when I had the uh, Asus board and things weren't posting and booting, but they were booting. The display indicated was not booting, which I should have checked. I should have swapped. But as I go through the compati compatibility matrix and I say, well, it is. I want to start with this motherboard. What CPUs work with that and uh, there's a site out there I'll post that too I forget what it's called build parts or something like that um, that helped a lot make sure you have the right memory you can check the serial numbers on them you know on the memory and make sure that's the right parts and, and then go from there all right these are boring I know guys but I don't know might as well make one I got to get some kind of content to appease the YouTube uh, authoritarians right here we go comes in you know, I'm grounded. I always touch something metal because, again, where I'm at, where I used to live up north, static shock all the time. Static, static. I was, oh, it was a nightmare. You always zap people down here. Now nah, it's humid and you're not going to get that. Not really. I never had it here. But anyway, I, this is my seventh, sixth or seventh board, so I have not fried one yet. Up. Oh. All right, hold on. We start right off. There it is. I need my knife. I thought I had the knife. I... Get yourself one of these knives. These are uh, Kershaw. K-E-R-S-H-A-W. -E I have a bunch of these and I love them. They're just perfect size for cutting open the millions of Amazon boxes you get every day. GPUs and CPUs and junk and food. Whatever you get from Amazon, right? Everything's Amazon. Flicks right open. Close one hand. Flicks right open. Look at that. You get good after a while. And 
Time blammo, we got that. Dun, bum, bum. Dun, dun, dun. So, I already, let's get the drivers. You all know this crap. SATA cables. Decals, yes. I collect decals. I don't know why. Oh, what's this stuff? Stuff I don't need. Stuff I don't need. There's another book. I got enough of these. I think I'll leave it with the box this time. You, know, you can always think, when you get this stuff, just always think about reset when you're done with it, if, if that ever comes. Odds are you'll keep it. If you're into it, you believe in the hobby or the mining or whatever you're doing, you'll keep it and not go through the hassle of selling it. Um, or the technology would be so, so outdated, you wouldn't be able to sell it. But having said that, I have a my first rig with the five GPUs is an Intel-based 2013 machine I made, a gaming PC I made with a it had a GTX 760, 760 uh, GPU, and uh, that puppy right now is a workhorse. I have GPUs working on it's mining, and again it was built in 2013, so go figure, right? All right, here we go. Exciting stuff, exciting stuff. All right, what should we do first? Now, oh yeah, I need these, this is great. I'm glad these are already installed. Now, the first one I got the uh, these boards, I had no idea what the hell these were, right? I'm used to the screws or whatever. These are great, they're already hooked in, so the uh, heat sink, the fan and heat sink are gonna clip right onto those puppies. So we'll do that. See, I got the memory. See, I got these down. So let's get the loose stuff out of the way here. Speakers. I focus light on this stuff sometimes because, again, I don't have my workbench. I just want to make sure I'm getting stuff um, right where it should go. Boom. And that looks good. Yep. Make sure I'm not offset. There's my speaker. Here's my power switch. And I should have known it goes right. I'm blocking it. It's called a reset. It's a switch, whatever. A switch is a switch to me. On, off. And you just make happy little mistakes with your switch. And all shall be good. Kablamo. There it goes. I just know, again, I've done this four times or so now. I just know where everything is. And that's why I kind of like sticking now with the same motherboard. I know it works. I know I can get six GPUs. And more, but I don't want to go more than six. I'm happy with six. And I know what any issues are. I know how to flash the BIOS. I know how the settings are. The UEFI stuff, the CM, CSM stuff, the um, mining settings, the Gen 2s, all that crap. Turning off the sound. You just know it. You get familiar with it. Why, why ruin a good thing? Just stick with what you know. Um, did that, did that. We can do the CPU. Yeah. Actually, I got the SATA cable, and I probably just threw it somewhere. I will go straight SATA this time. And we are back. All right, here is the Ryzen 9 3900X. Little plastic wrap there, not even. Just up, good knife, little. What is this, Kershaw? K E R S H A W for opening all your multiple Amazon boxes and stuff you get every day from Amazon, CPUs, GPUs. You get good at it. All right, let's get this open.
All right, we're back, and due to my poor planning, I'm backing up. Um, I got this new Ryzen 9, which I just built. You saw that. Uh, we pieced that together, and I have this Ryzen 5 over here. All waiting power supplies. So what I thought I was going to do, this is a core i3 core Intel with the 3070 Ti. His hash rate on CP, um, when it's CPU mining or Raptorium is not really that great. This one is super. So what I'm going to do is take this overkill 750 Corsair power supply, hook it on this, move the 3070 Ti over to this guy just so I can get the power of this guy working because I'm a week out from getting my power supplies uh, since I did not plan ahead. Uh, my fault. I didn't think it was going to take that long to get power supplies. That would be a couple days, but that was my mistake. With any of this stuff, with any of this computer stuff, plan ahead. It's going to take time, and I think it's just going to get worse with, with uh, trying to get stuff in on time. All right, stand by. I'm going to swap this out. I copied over the necessary files. I have to, um, I installed the uh, Windows on this guy, so I have to go through and do all that setup stuff on Windows, which is the con against using Windows for me every time you got to redo it, but it's not a pain, too much of a pain. If it was just Hive OS, I could just pop a stick in there, bam. Linux pops up and you're uh, you're good to go, I guess, right? All right, guys, we're back. So what I did, took the Corsair power supply off of this motherboard, this Asus, which just has a uh, Core i3 running. Moved it over to this guy, this beautiful guy, the Ryzen 9 3900X with the 37Ti, which I just moved over as well. So I got this guy GPU mining, this guy CPU mining, got the wireless, boom. And I'm just tethered. The only thing tethered here is the power supply, obviously. So there you go. That's what I'm doing right now. It worked pretty good. I love these boards. Now, once you get to know a board, it, it, it's just so easy to set up. I made my whole list on uh, how to set up. And I'll, I'll even post that here. All the stuff I go through just to run through stuff. The BIOS, the Windows, my steps, auto login, performance improvements, uh, and all the uh, additional applications to set up for mining. Pretty cool. I love these coolers. Look at that. 